First off, congratulations. You graduated. You put in the hours. You put in the hard work. You made it happen. Enjoy it. While that's true, I also have to let you know that you're basically useless as a mechanical engineer right now. School puts you through the ringer to get you to learn how to learn, which is super important, but realize that you're basically starting at zero. You've been exposed to some of the technical ideas that you'll come across in your career, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you haven't even touched on. Bills of material, PDM systems, QA departments, dealing with vendors, ECO processes, expense reports, product launches. Wait, wait, don't leave yet. Just because you don't know what you're doing now doesn't mean you can't figure it out. Everybody starts at zero, you'll get there. But I have seen some recent grads walk onto the job and think they're a God's gift to engineering. So I'm trying to give you a little bit of a heads up so that you know what's going on. So now that you know where you stand, what can you do about it? My advice is always to just stay calm, be a sponge, and just learn as much as you can. And when I say be a sponge, I don't mean just the technical stuff and just the procedures and trainings that you go through in your first however long of working your first job. I mean every conversation you have with purchasing or marketing or any other department or anybody else you work with. Uh, to really understand like the dynamics of an office situation, if you haven't worked in an office before, see if you can understand who makes the decisions, who has the most influence in the office. It's really There's a lot going on that you might not notice if you don't really look for it. So keep your ear to the ground and really kind of see um, who's running the show and not to be manipulative, but just to know where you stand. One piece of advice I really could have used out of school was the fact that imposter syndrome is a real deal. I spent a lot of time at my first job thinking I was just super dumb and they were about to figure me out and fire me. But looking back at it now, I did fine. Was I perfect? No. Did I ask for help as much as I should have? Nope. But I just took every little mistake as a sign that everybody was going to figure me out and it was over. But in reality, when a company hires a recent grad, they know what they're getting. They're getting somebody with the potential to contribute in the future not somebody that's going to hit the ground running and be star engineer day one. They expect to hold your hand for a while. So do as good a job as you can, ask for help when you need it, and try to take it easy on yourself when you do mess up. The world will keep spinning, you'll have learned something, and it'll be fine. For the first couple of years, you'll be coming up against stuff that you don't understand almost every single day. Don't say you understand something that you don't, and try to find somebody who's you know, kind of eager to help and answer any questions you might have. Ask why things are done on that ECO form, ask why you're checking this box instead of that one. What happens when you do this one versus that one? People will notice that you're making that extra effort and you'll really have a better understanding of what's going on around you. A tip that doesn't get nearly as much attention as I think it should is that you should go out of your way to talk to people in other departments, especially the blue collar workers. Um, don't fall into the trap that just because you're in engineering, you're smarter than everybody else and, and nobody else has anything that you can learn. Especially if there are any kind of assembly techs, machinists, fabricators around, they are not below you. Do not take them for granted. They're not just there to do your bidding as an engineer. They know way more than you, especially if you're starting out, you know nothing. They guarantee you know more than you about the product that you're designing. So listen to them. Even as you understand more, as you work there longer, they handle the parts every day. They know which parts fit together better than others. They know when quality goes up and down. They know which vendors make better parts, stuff that you would never know if you were to stay in your office. Unfortunately, they've probably also run across more than one asshole engineer looking to just interrogate them about some issue. So make it super clear you're not there to poke around and find something wrong. Just help if you can, stay out of their way. You're just there to get their input and see if you can help them in any way. I've been lucky enough to work places where the machine shop was like just downstairs or just around the corner. And I've learned a ton about machining and programming and what manufacturing processes are faster or harder than others. Uh, super valuable information. Something that definitely needs to be said is that those finals you just passed and those grades that you were just super stressed about, that was probably the last time you or anybody else is gonna care about those. So if you struggled through school, failed a couple classes, had to take some over, who cares? You're all starting off at zero. It's all about the effort and the energy that you put into what you're doing now. If you did get straight A's, perfect, good job. Just keep that level of attention and effort going and you'll do fine. But don't think that because you got good grades, you can take it easy now and rest on those laurels. Everybody's starting from zero. You got to put in the work. And lastly, just because you don't like your first job, don't assume you don't like engineering as a whole. It kills me when I see people online trash engineering as an entire career just because of one bad internship, one bad manager, one, one job. There are a thousand different industries and millions of different companies, and tons of different managers. So don't take your first one as typical of everything. 
um, take what you learn, what you like and you don't like in your first job and, and go from there and build on where you want to go and what kind of environment you want to be in. Plus, not everybody has the same aspirations or goals for their life and career. So if you find yourself doubting engineering as your career choice, it, totally valid. Like, just be honest with yourself and make sure that you're not just running away from a specific manager or a specific situation. But I would say stick with your first job for at least a year. I know anytime I've ever changed jobs, it's taken me at least six, eight months, even a year to really get my feet under me and understand what's going on. Well, that's all I've got for you today. So definitely, if you have any questions or suggestions for other people, leave them in the comments below. I'll add any other information I think of in the description. And I hope this can be a good resource for uh, recent graduates for years to come to just get a little bit of encouragement and a little bit of um, information about the engineering field as a whole. So thanks. Welcome to the engineering crew, and I'll see you next time. Good job. It was the fact that 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 imposter.